So you're building the greenhouse and you know it's going to snow a lot. What kind of slope do you want to put on? Let me show you. Here in Quebec, northern Quebec, we get about five feet of snow that falls. So we get a lot of snow coming down on our greenhouse. And we weren't too sure at first if it would really work, the slope we have. And we also have plastic. So we weren't sure if it was gonna work that well, but it has, it's worked out great. As you can see on this, the snow actually slides off it slowly. Basically, I think, because of the temperature difference inside the greenhouse and outside too. The sun helps warm it up, maybe the bottom melts, maybe it slides off, maybe the slope is perfect, but whatever the reason, it does work perfectly for us. We're supposed to get a much heavier snowfall today, so I'm going to come back a, a bit later and show you where we're at with the greenhouse roof. As you can see, the snow's still coming down. It's building up now on the greenhouse, but you can see it's still falling off a bit. So as this day progresses, I'll keep showing you some updates and how the roof is working out. So on the front side where the window is, the plastic, it's actually an exact 45 degree angle. I never have to really do much. The only disadvantage we have with it is when the snow falls off, it builds up here right in front of the greenhouse, which isn't too bad because I just come along with a snowblower and get rid of that. What are you doing? You crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Someone's excited to be outside in the snow. Are you crazy? So how are the cows doing? They're doing great. Little sirloins here. He looks like he was inside the shelter for a bit there, maybe. Doesn't look like he's got any snow on him, so... Must have been inside the shelter, hanging out there, not... Not getting wet. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Where's your rabbit? Where's your rabbit? Where's your rabbit? Is it in there? Is it in there? I think you're a few hours late, dog, but... Down the side of the uh, cow field, the new cow field, we planted uh, a whole bunch of these trees. We've got uh, apple, crab apple. I forget what else we planted here, but a bunch of fruit trees. So I just keep looking at them every time I come out. And I'm really thankful that the deer haven't touched them yet. So thankfully in the winter, the deer usually stay way out the back. So they don't come up front here, which is nice. Just noticed this rub on a tree as I was heading to the back to check for uh, deer tracks and stuff. And uh, this rub was not here before the fall. It's, uh, it's recent. It's pretty cool. We haven't seen many bucks on the uh, trail camera. So it's nice to know that there's still some around. Obviously there are, but it's always good reassurance. Come here. Hold in. What you got? What you got? What you got? So as you saw in the last video, we've got a snowblower all hooked up. So we're ready to take care of this snow, no problem.